heat and internal energy. So when we think about the total energy of a system, the internal energy, we have to concentrate on the atoms and molecules that make up the system. And the atoms and molecules can have energy contributions from their rotations, vibrations and translations. So we need to consider rotational kinetic energy, vibrational and translational kinetic energy contributions. And the internal energy is defined as the sum of these contributions when viewed from the center of mass reference frame. So that makes up the total energy of the system. However, heat is the transfer of energy across the boundary of a system due to a temperature difference. So heat is describing the transfer of energy, not the energy of the system. So we don't talk about the heat of a system. We talk about the heat absorbed or uh, released by a system. So uh, the, if we say the boiling water has a lot of heat, this statement is incorrect. The correct version is the boiling water has a lot of internal energy because heat is either absorbed or released by boiling water. It is not uh, the energy of the boiling water. Another uh, common mistake, it was very hot that day because the sidewalk was radiating lots of heat. Uh, no, the sidewalk was emitting electromagnetic radiation. So uh, we have energy uh, transferred in the form of electromagnetic radiation. So uh, we don't say it's radiating lots of heat. And finally, the work of the system A was 100 joules. Now, similar to heat, work is trans uh, describing transfer of energy, so we can only talk about work done by the system A or work done on the system A. So these are the physically correct statements. So in summary, heat and work are transfer variables. In thermodynamics, they describe the transfer of energy, whereas internal energy is a state variable. It describes the total energy of the system. Now, what is the unit of heat? The unit of heat is calorie with the lowercase c here. One cal is the amount of energy necessary to raise the temperature of one gram of water from 14.5 to 15.5 degree C. All right. So, uh, Joule has performed uh, this following experiment in order to find the connection between mechanical energy and heat. So in this setup, we have uh, paddles that are rotating attached to this uh, apparatus with the blocks uh, that, are, uh, that have strings attached uh, to them uh, running over pulleys. And as these uh, blocks fall down, uh, the paddles will rotate. And as the paddles rotate, they will have friction with the water molecules. So there will be energy transfer, kinetic energy transfer between the pedal and water molecules heating up the water. And the water is inside a thermal insulator. Okay, so he finds that one calorie of heat transferred to water is equal to 4.186 joules of mechanical energy. It's 4.186 joules of work done by the paddles. Okay, let's take a look at an example. A student eats a dinner rated at 2000 capital C calories. He wishes to do an equivalent amount of work in the gymnasium by lifting a 50 kilograms barbell. How many times must he raise the barbell to expand this much energy? Assume he raises the barbell 2 meters each time he lifts it and he regains no energy when he lowers the barbell. So the total energy we want to spend is 2000 calories. That is capital C. One food calorie, capital C, is one kilocalorie. So it's 2000 kilocalories with lowercase c. That's the uh, unit of heat. And we have 50 kilograms that we're raising uh, two meters every single time. All right. So uh, every time he lifts, he's going to perform uh, an amount of work. So every time... He lifts, we have work done equal to mgh, which is 50 times 9.8 meters per second squared times 2 meters, 980 joules. 
So what is the a heat equivalent of 980 joules of work. So 980 joules of work is equivalent to 980 divided by 4.186 that is 234.11 calories. The total energy we would like to spend was 2 times 10 to 6 calories, 2000 kilocalories. So how many times should we do this work? n times 234.11. This gives us n is equal to 2 times 10 to 6 divided by uh, 234.11. n is equal to 8.54 times 10 to 3. So that's quite a large number. All right, so that's the amount of uh, work we need to do. So we have to raise this uh, barbell 8,540 times in order to make up for the high calorie dinner uh, that we had. So uh, here we talked about the distinction between heat and internal energy. Internal energy is total energy of the system, which has contributions from rotations, vibrations, and translations of atoms and molecules that make up the system. It's a state variable, whereas heat uh, is the transfer of energy across the boundary of a system due to uh, a temperature difference, delta T. And it's a transfer variable, just like work. Uh, we only talk about work done on a system or by a system. We only talk about heat absorbed or released by a system. We don't talk about heat of a system or work of a system. And also, <clears throat> um, we, we talk about emission of electromagnetic radiation instead of radiation of heat. Heat is not something that is uh, radiated, uh, like electromagnetic radiation. Okay, so that's energy transfer by electromagnetic radiation. Uh, so uh, the unit of heat is calorie. One calorie with lowercase letter C is the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water from 14.5 to 15.5 degrees C. One calorie is 4.186 uh, joules. It's the equivalent of uh, work that has to be done. Uh, that's as demonstrated by Jules' experiment. And finally, we talked about an example. In order to spend 2,000 kilocalories, which is equivalent to 2,000 food calories, uh, we have to raise a bar 2 meters, 50 kilograms, uh, nine, which gives us a 980 joules of work, 8.54 times 10 to 3 times to get the equivalent amount of uh, food calories. So 2 times 10 to 6 calories of heat is equivalent to uh, n times 234.11 joules of work. So n turns out to be a huge number. Therefore, it's not a good idea to eat this very high calorie dinner.